This is terrifying. We are in the like really high up spot and it feels really straight downy. I could go down there, like jump down because I'm a gymnast, so. No! Guys, that, that's not, you can't. That's not how this works. I can't, I can't, I can't. Good morning, everyone. Can we say good morning? Good morning. You're supposed to be napping. You're supposed to be taking a nap. Can you go to sleep? Night night. Welcome to our last full day in England on our European series that we're doing. Tomorrow, we fly out to Italy, and I'm really excited about that. We'll tell you more about that on the next video. Today, we are having a theater day. So we're going to the Globe Theater, which is a recreation of where Shakespeare used to put on his plays. Really is important to Jessica and me because we're theater majors. We grew up with this business. I want to tell you something. We're the next, the, then we're going to dinner, and then we're going to this. Matilda. Matilda. I had never seen Matilda. They let me see it. Matilda, and inside is the, the bad guy, and Matilda, bad guy, Matilda. I am so excited about going to Matilda tonight, like, as Christopher said, we are theater majors, but I still, like, theater is so expensive, and it just, it terrifies me to buy tickets to something because it costs so much money. So like even when tours come through LA, like we don't usually go to them. Like not that I don't want to, but it, it's just so expensive. Especially when you're buying as many tickets as we're buying. I've always wanted to see this show. It's one of my favorite books of all time. I also hear that the show is incredible, so I'm really, really, really excited. The kids and I did go see SpongeBob on Broadway, and that was a gift from JoJo. So that was my first Broadway show I ever saw in my whole life. So this is a show at the West End, and this is like the fanciest theater thing we've ever done on our own <laughs> and it's a really really big deal you excited Bailey yeah super excited I love Matilda Bailey has read the book several times and she loves it as much as I do I showed Jacob and Parker some of the scenes on YouTube and Bailey's been reading the books to them it sounds really cool it, it's funny too and the Globe Theater oh my goodness I, I'm kind of like on the fence about this because it's a recreation, so I feel like I've been a little less enthusiastic about it, but like I feel like I'm gonna get there and just be in awe. And I also feel like we're gonna learn a lot. So I'm really excited about that. We're on a bridge right now. I'm not sure which bridge this is that we're on, but you can see the Tower Bridge back there. It's behind that other bridge. I don't think we're gonna have a chance to get over there today, which is too bad. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. The theater's closed right now, which means that uh, there's a play going on in there. If you visit here, Try and come in the morning so you can see the actual theater. We aren't gonna be able to go inside the theater today, but if we had come in the morning, we would have been able to. So, little tip for you, if you're visiting here, come in the morning to check it out. But we're looking well, in the museum right yeah, now. Yeah, either way, you get access to the museum. I think this is really cool. Yeah, this is really cool, but just so you know. Would you like to dress like that every day? Yeah. You would? You'd like to go through that process every day of putting all those different layers on? It's fun.
like crosses. Like, Do you see my finger in there? Right there. It's right there. Feel it. Right there. See? Right there. see? Did you feel it? All right, I did. Right So we just finished inside the museum and it was really cool, it was very hands-on. What'd you think of it? It was great. It was so exciting to see that they had a sword fighting exhibit and that they had the costumes. There was so much to do. I learned about the Frost Fair, which is so neat. The Thames froze over and I think 1621, something around then. They have a model of it here that someone made a very long time ago. It's really neat. They put all these things on it and like made it into a fair and they had all kinds of activities and things on the Thames. It was such a neat piece of history that I didn't know about. Duncan and I have parted ways with the rest of the family. They're gonna go see Matilda. We're gonna go back to the flat. I think we're gonna get some food on the way there. You want some food? Yeah, definitely food. All right, so we've made it inside the, the theater for Matilda. I am so excited, but you know when I try to like play it cool about like going on the ropes course or going on really tall towers or whatever? Okay, I am not cool right now. This is terrifying. We are in the like really high up spot and it feels really straight downy and like the kids, I'm like scared they're gonna fall and going down the stairs. It's so scary to get to this spot. Wow, that set is awesome. I'm kind of scared but not that scared. I'm kind of scared but not that scared. All right, I just, I just tried to show you how terrifying this is and there's no way. Like it doesn't look scary at all, but it's horrifying and really, about like I was okay on that rose course thing up in the sky hanging from strings and this is like not no nah, I'm not cool about this at all because I feel like we could fall there's like no edge like if you just thought like I'm scared the kids are gonna topple off the edges right now I'm scared. Oh, I... <laughs> okay that, I'm gonna be able to handle it because at least I'm in my seat now I don't know I, like I honestly like I almost sat down and scooted down the stairs because I was so scared to walk down them <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get back up, but like I'm really gonna enjoy the show. I'm in a seat right now. That's wonderful news. <laughs> I'm terrified. Are you terrified? About too? what? This height is terrifying. No, I'm not terrified. I put my jacket on backwards. What? <laughs> How's that related to what's going on? I don't know. <laughs> I could go down there, like jump down, because. I'm a gymnast, so... No! That is, that's not... You can't. That's not how this works. I can't, I can't, I can't. But I'll be terrified. I'll do a cartwheel all the way down. down the... No! That's not okay. Being a gymnast does not protect you from falling from really tall heights. <laughs> but I can't do it! No. Yes, I can. Do not do a cartwheel off the balcony. <laughs> I will since I'm old. When I'm older. No, you will not. Yes, I will. So can you see? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I like leave my kids with my mom. With uh, my my um person I married and uh, my wife and I'll jump down 
into the big plants, Parker. Into the, um, really I'll jump down into the, um, if I come ever again up here, I'll jump down with my kids. <laughs> with parachutes. <laughs> Parachutes would be safer, but it's still a bad choice. <laughs> what do you think of the set? Good, but can't find my whole name. It's not gonna be your name, it's her name. On the floor it says Matilda too, except it's all scrambled up. Do you see that the set's all books? It's amazing. What do you think of the set so far, Mr. Artist? Pretty cool. Yeah. And I'm playing a little game where um, all right. since all these letters, I have to try and find my name. That's a good idea. Oh, there's a P for Parker. Parker, do you see the Parker P over there? It actually it spells out escape and shape. Wait, shiny. K P A R K. I can't believe I've been here this whole time and I haven't had any fish and chips. Mm. Want some dinner? I am back at the flat now. I am trying to pack everything up and I tried to use the clothes dryer and it blew a fuse. So a lot of the lights here aren't working uh, and the dryer's not working. So we've got some wet clothes and that'll be okay. But <laughs> it's just added another element of challenge to what we're doing here. Hopefully we can be mostly packed up uh, before they come back from Matilda and I hope they're having a great time. I had a great time with Duncan. We had a nice dinner together and he went right to sleep and he's so sweet. He's like the sweetest little baby. And I'm grateful for this time that I have to kind of pack up in peace and I cannot wait to go to Italy tomorrow. It is gonna be so much fun. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. Parker, what did you think? It was amazing. I did not know that Matilda could do a cartwheel. So the very last is like Matilda doing a cartwheel with um, Miss Honey and <laughs> watching Parker see it, it like blew his mind. He's like, <gasps> it's awesome. I was like, I did not know that Matilda could do a cartwheel. I'm just like, I want to meet Matilda. <laughs> what do you think, Bailey? It was great. <laughs> what do you think, sir? It was cool. Parker, what did you just find out? How did we get to meet Matilda? You might meet Matilda, but she might have to go home because it's a long night for Matilda, but we'll see. But we'll you get to go see. backstage and go see backstage. backstage. <laughs> Did you enjoy the show? Yes. Was it good? Yes. yes. I really liked the part when Matilda did a cartwheel. Because I did not know Matilda could do a cartwheel. <laughs> we are going backstage right now. Wow. Oh my goodness. We had to run and find a place for food and bathroom, but that was incredible. And going backstage was so cool. We got to go onto the stage and we got to like touch some of the props. We got to see some of the different effects that they did. We didn't meet the actors, but we got to go on the stage. We got to go in the wings. It was so cool. We went backstage and we got to check out how everything worked and it was really awesome. There was a couple trap doors and like so many changes of set and it was just, the set was beautiful. Everything was beautiful and I loved it so much. I really liked Matilda. She was the funniest. I just went backstage and it was the best thing ever. I saw one, one thing that the bad guys used. Well, I saw two things kind of. It was a scooter and, uh, and another thing that a bad guys used. I don't want to spoil it for you. So one of my favorite characters was um, someone named Lavender, and she did this really cool like part in the show. She's like, okay, I'm gonna do a big part in this. It's gonna be good. But that's 
all I can tell you. She's like, no. I don't want to spoil it for you, so I'm gonna go. Bye. And I've told you too much. Bye. And then she goes to the corner and she's like, I am super excited. I'm going to freak out. Oh my gosh. Lavender is so excited. It was really fun. Hi. Let's talk about what we learned today. We learned that Bailey wants to dress like this every day. We learned that Parker doesn't know what to expect. And finally, we learned that even if you're a gymnast, you can't do a cartwheel off the balcony in a theater. Even if you leave your kids with your wife with parachutes. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. <laughs> There's no in-flight entertainment because it's a short flight, but Parker got a big stick of butter and some bread. So that's entertainment enough, really.